God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Tuesday, August 31st. Today's devotional, like yesterday's, is based on the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verses 4 to 13. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, What wrong did your ancestors find in me that they went far from me, and went after worthless things and became worthless themselves? They did not say, Where is the Lord who brought us up from the land of Egypt, who led us in the wilderness, in a land of deserts and pits, in a land of drought and deep darkness, in a land that no one passes through, where no one lives. I brought you into a plentiful land to eat its fruits and its good things. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. The priests did not say, Where is the Lord? Those who handled the law did not know me. The rulers transgressed against me, the prophets prophesied by Baal, and went after things that do not profit. Therefore, once more I accuse you, says the Lord, and I accuse your children's children. Cross to the coasts of Cyprus and look. Send to Kedar and examine with care. See if there has ever been such a thing. Has a nation changed its gods, even though they are no gods? But my people have changed their glory for something that does not profit. Be appalled, O heavens! At this be shocked, be utterly desolate, says the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water, and dug out cisterns for themselves, cracked cisterns that hold no water. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Thomas Stegald. The theological irony at the heart of Jeremiah is shown in sharp belief. The chosen God, the chosen of God, have chosen other gods, have shunned God's purposes, even if it meant shunning God's provision. Now whatever provision they have made for themselves is at an end. They desire less than the Almighty, and that, Jeremiah says, is exactly what they have. Gods who are no gods who cannot hear or answer prayer, who cannot save them, now that the calamity is upon them. And we are left with this simple question to ponder today. What other gods do you worship? Let us pray. Help me know the plan you have for me and for my life. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whatever that may be, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you're in public, wear a mask. God bless.